I've, I'm taking off this Midwest Industries rail because I'm going to update it to another one. And check, check that out. I don't know how well you can see that, but I have pretzeled the heck out of this Allen wrench. It's, uh, it's twisted, and I'll show you how I did that. Um, first of all, this weapon is clear and safe. Uh, and I did that not just by raw power and, and fury with my bare hands. I actually used a cheater trying to get these screws out uh, by slipping this uh, interchangeable bit screwdriver over there so I could get some more leverage. And trying to get that screw out, I actually just pretzeled and twisted the heck out of this. And that tells me that that Loctite that I have put on those screws has secured it. And now I've got to figure out how to get that Loctite loose. Now the best way to get Loctite loose is with some heat. The problem is, is those screws are recessed back in here and we have, we have a lot of stuff that could be damaged and I don't want to apply a torch right to that. You know, it may be adjacent to plastic accessories or parts. So I'm going to show you uh, how I do that. You're going to need a, a disposable Allen wrench. So you're going to need another one besides the one that you pretzeled that's in that size. We're going to use this disposable wrench. We're going to put it in there and we're going to clamp some vice grips on the end of it. So we've just got a little wrench right here. And I'm going to hold that there. And then you're also going to need a propane torch. Uh, this one's supposed to have a self igniter that is broken. So uh, I've got the other handy igniter. We're gonna we're gonna take the flame and we're gonna apply the flame to the wrench. Now you can do that two different ways. We can heat the wrench up first and get some good heat on it, and then we can just stick it into the into the socket, and that heat will transfer to that screw and loosen that Loctite. You can also apply some heat to the wrench while you are doing this. Now I know that's getting hot because the wrench is starting to sag. So that heat's traveling in two directions. The wrench is soaking up some of it. And that screw is soaking up some of it. Now the reason that we have this as a sacrificial wrench is obviously we've heated this thing uh, up red hot and we are taking any temper that it had out of it. So I'm letting that heat transfer. I'm going to take the vice grips, take that out, stick in our, our good wrench that's our non-sacrificial wrench into the socket. I'm going to use my cheater again. And there we go. I was able to bust that screw loose. So there you have it. If you have a sacrificial Allen wrench, you can apply some heat to it with a torch. That, uh, that heat will transfer down to the screw. You can keep your flame away from your firearm and away from all your accessories and uh, bust that Loctite loose. I hope this was informational and uh, insightful. And uh, be careful, carry a fire extinguisher, have a fire watch, be safe, shoot safe, burn safe, torch safe, all that good stuff. Hey, thanks for watching, like and subscribe.